Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the organizing committee for extending the second invitation to me to be a keynote speaker in this conference. I was last year in Dubai, and I'm very pleased and honored to be this year in Delhi, the lovely city. When we talk about safety, health, and environment, we have to talk about actions and words. The sincere organizations represented by all the directors and the boards, top executives, line managers, and other employees at all levels have to have one thing in common, the HSC understanding and the HSC action commitment. If we want to create <clears throat> a culture that, uh, that promotes safety and strong business opportunity, that depends on what leaders do and how they influence others. Industry leaders should care enough about employees and customers to do what is necessary to protect their health, well-being, and safety. Companies should be committed to safety in addition to health and environment. If any organization wanted to develop successful leaders, they must consider the following business practices. <clears throat> Talk safety, walk safety, and do safety. A knowledgeable and competent workforce is necessary to sustain efficient cost-saving driven operations while looking to safety practices and performance. Organizations should establish the safety culture vision, clarify the elements of the standard safety, provide training to all personnel, motivate HSC programs, and finally benchmark their safety model. The way we manage safety in the workplace must similarly evolve the meat and the needs of changing industry requirements. Changes such as technology, operating environments, financial allocation, training needs, stakeholders' demands, and environmental condition will indeed influence the application and administration or of workplace safety. Organization should place great emphasis on asset management image and goodwill presentation and the ability to attract and retain the best and the brightest workforce through a caring work environment. On the other angle, stakeholders should focus on producing solutions to, work to, to today's workforce hazards. This should, all, this should all aimed at the welfare of the workers and also enhancing workforce and workplace safety. I believe that leaders in any organization should adopt a zero accident vision approach in which that nobody should be injured due to an accident. In terms of accident prevention strategies, zero accident vision is a way of thinking. It proposes that all accidents can be prevented when no accidents are allowed to approve. This provides a basis for learning from accidents and improving processes. I am very, pleas I am very pleased 
to share with you in short some slides that reflect the success of Benegas in, man in managing HSC and in particular the safety approach. In fact, as all organization and organ uh, all, all companies and organizations have their own HSC policy, Benegas policy fulfill a commitment and provide resources for implementation and the policy cover the following. Compliance to the rules and, and the country legislations and all international standards. Development of guide, guidelines and procedures. Provide awareness and training programs. Improve HSC performance and ensure to all to, the, to do their jobs in, in accordance with HSC procedure and work practices. We have a followed and a practice business model which, which incorporate five main elements considered necessary for success. A clarified business direction, a followed organization structure and framework, an, integrate, an integrated management system, a followed and uh, a monitored and measured performance, and an accountable management uh, team members and individual employees. The organizational culture is based on visions, values, attitudes, and beliefs of our shareholders, our senior management, and all employees. All these elements which you have seen now are practiced in a very comfortable working environment. We have, as other companies have, a safety performance scorecard which is managed and measured, audited internally and externally, and finally benchmarked. I am also pleased to share with you Benegas 2015 safety KPIs shown as a corporate strategy. You can see the business focus, the measure, the targets, and the actual year up to date. Uh, on that, on the, uh, maybe it's not clear, in the, uh, that in the down, you see the uh, uh, safe man, man hours, which was 1.2 million by the end of, our, uh, by the end of 2015, and this, unfortunately, reported from October 2014 because of a minor incident. In concluding, we believe that organizations should establish the safety culture, vision, clarify the elements of standard safety, provide training to all personnel, motivate HSC programs, and finally benchmark their safety model. Also, adopting zero accident vision approach is worth considering. Before I close, I leave you with this quote which has been developed by my, myself. Thank you for a kind attention.